Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, today is November the 17th, 2021. This is going to be our progenity stock price prediction into the market. We want to know, can progenity still go up? You guys can already see we're up 15, almost 16% on the day and take a look. We are already planned for the price in progenity to go up. So we are already in profit mode on this particular play. Now, our last video was on October the 23rd of us looking for progenity's price to go up. Congratulations, because it did. So we want to know, OK, cool. Since the price has been going up, can we still see it happen? Well, welcome. This is HFN, also known as Chiefy News. We're going to give you that information today on this video and what needs to happen in order for us to at least have that prospect continue to allow progenity to go up. So make sure you hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe to the channel. Keep it locked in here because we're not going to make this confusing to you. It's simple and it's easy and anyone else outside of looking at price doesn't fully understand the market because you cannot price anything else outside of price meaning technical indicators can give you what the price should be for these particular stock markets or these particular stocks fundamental analysis can't put a price on these stocks now it can give you the value of a particular company or business yes it can but it cannot scale down narrow enough to see how much each particular share is worth so what's the point of you this using it the only thing that matters once you guys really realize this is what people do with their money that's it nothing else matters it all boils down to what you and i are willing to buy and sell these stocks for that's it if no one is willing to buy progenity for example at two dollars and fifty cent guess what price will do then it will go down to where there is someone willing to buy progenity we have to bring a efficient market, right? We have to create an orderly market. That is the whole purpose of the stock market. It's a market. It's not a fundamental analysis place to where you try to calculate the revenue of a company or a business to see how much it's worth. No, it's a market to where you bring the buyers and the sellers together. That's it. So when you look at the price and price alone, you guys can kind of see where price is going to go. Take a look at what we did on our last video in Progenity. October 23rd, right here. 61.15%. We were already looking for that to happen on October the 23rd. We was telling you all then, look for the price in Progenity to go up. And we greased that on November the 16th. 61%. Now, if we were to get out the market now with Progenity, look at that. 90%, almost 100% profitability into the market. Almost doubled what the price was back in October. It's simple. Let's not make this complicated. Be careful of anyone that's trying to get you on fundamental analysis or even trying to use technical indicators. Let me get rid of it. So now, can we still see the price in progenity go up? Emphatically, the answer is yes, but we got to identify some things now. Okay. Now, you guys can see that I got a couple of lines on my chart. The trend is still intact, right? This ascending line is still in play in progenity so as long as that's the case we can still see the market go up in progenity as long as the market holds that trend right now my only issue is to see how the market in progenity is trading well away from that trend that is something that i don't like i like for the market to hug the ascending line because it tells me that there's stability and that the market is stable it's not acting erratically but now we have broken so far away from that trend let's see how far away we are now from a percentage basis. So if the market in progenity was to come down to hit the trend, that's about 37, 38% drop in price. That would scare everyone out the market. Hmm. Now, that is still intact, which is fantastic. We're going to continue to hold that line. And the second thing would be, okay, cool. This area here, $5 will have to act as support and then a bigger area of support is going to be around four. OK, so I'm, I'm telling you already, even if we were to see the price drop in progenity, if price holds five dollars, if price holds four dollars, don't worry about it because the price is still anticipated to go up. We're just taking a small spat of looking at the price dip somewhere. That's all. So we need to keep focus on five dollars and four dollars in order for us to have the prospect of progenity's price to go up. Simple, right? So I'm going to hold this horizontal line up here towards five dollars, though, because the sooner that we see the market grab strength at five dollars, the stronger the market is. 
if price breaks five dollars then the weaker the market is in progenity hmm so let's look at the market in progenity on a different time frame then this is the two-day time frame here into the market in progenity now what's the question what do you all think do you think the price is going to continue to go up or do you think the market price in progenity is going to go down what do you all think just by looking at this on the two-day time frame this is the three-day very wide spread so i wouldn't be surprised to see the price come down in progenity like you guys got to realize that people are up here around six dollars five dollars and seventy five cents taking profits right they've been riding the price in progenity when it was a dollar and now the price is six dollars in progenity so let's not be astonished let's not be surprised that market goes down yeah rightfully so you would expect people to come in and take the bag which is why i wanted you all to identify that support is right there around five dollars okay so now seeing that we're seeing this market price in progenity break these restricting areas four dollars and five dollars the next likely area is going to be up here i would say towards six dollars and fifty cents to seven dollars that's the next area ultimately it's eight that's the biggest spot that we can see the price in progenity come up and hit eight dollars now given the spread on this current five day price bar that definitely look like it can happen right we can see that happen over the next five days this is the weekly time frame look at that spread so i'm aiming to see this price in progenity to try to hit seven dollars then eight dollars ultimately maybe a little bit lower than eight i would say like seven dollars and 65 cents i'd be looking for the market to go in progenity okay so now let me show you all the play now i understand five dollars would be our initial area of support like i told you if we're able to see strength coming at five dollars then the price is still stronger to see price go up now let's say we break five dollars to the downside and we come down and hold four well i'm not really looking for the price to hit eight dollars then i'll be looking for the market to come up here towards seven okay so let me show you all the play again bring this over playing this on a daily time frame i'm looking for the market to hold five dollars right but i'm going to give me a cushion to allow us to let this price dip below five dollars because if it do then i know that four dollars is the biggest support area okay but i'm going to eye five dollars first and then we bring back down the trend because we're still going to follow the market in progenity hold this trend all right so now my price targets in progenity now will be um right here around six dollars and 65 cents first so 665 will give us around what 13 and a half percent then the second area is going to be around seven that will give us 19 and a half percent and then ultimately right here around seven dollars and 80 cents is around 33 percent right there okay so this is it still looking for the price any progenity to go up now it's your turn i wasn't confusing to you the language that i spoke to you wasn't hard to understand or comprehend and we didn't talk about technical indicators we didn't say as long as the, the stochastics or the macd crosses below the 40 percent line and that the astrological section of the moon is full on today's date it, it none of that matters right it just matters about price and price movement so drop me your price prediction for progenity right now let me know where do y'all think the price is headed over the next three weeks i'm done simple so hit me up let me know make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different